Now we're going to go over the configuration screen that governs SMTP, POP3, and IMAP server settings. This screen is located under the Servers section located within the Server Settings menu. Select Enable VRFY if you'd like to respond to SMTP VRFY commands. This command is sometimes used by servers that use an SMTP call forward or callback feature to attempt to confirm the validity of email addresses on your server. This option is disabled by default. Select Enable EXPN if you want Daemon to honor EXPN commands. This command is often used to obtain a list of mailing list members. When this option is enabled, each mailing list will also need to have this setting enabled separately for that particular list. By default, mdaemon's SMTP server honors the APOP and CRAM MD5 methods of authentication. These methods provide extra security by making it possible for users to be authenticated without sending clear text passwords. Clear this checkbox if you do not want to allow APOP or CRAM MD5. When the next option is enabled, mdaemon will refuse duplicate RCPT values within the same session. This feature was added after a user had reported that mailing list members were adding the list address to the CC field as well as to the to field. The sending client was then issuing two RCPT commands, each containing the list address. As a result, the message was sent out to the same recipient twice. When enabled, this feature allows mdaemon to ignore these duplicate RCPT values. The next option allows you to refuse messages that violate RFC standards. When this option is enabled, mdaemon will reject messages that are smaller than 32 bytes in size, messages missing a from or sender header, and messages that have more than one from header or more than one subject header. Messages using authenticated sessions or from trusted domains or IP addresses are exempt from this requirement. You can review your trusted domains and IPs via the Security Settings configuration screen located under the Security menu. The next option allows you to temporarily whitelist host IPs that encounter an SSL error during an outbound SMTP session. This feature was added to address issues with SSL negotiation with TLS 1.1 and 1.2. This setting provides a means of allowing the message to be delivered instead of bouncing it back to the sender. The whitelist is reset every hour. Setting a value in the following field will prevent mdaemon from accepting or processing SMTP delivered mail that exceeds a certain fixed size. When this option is enabled, mdaemon will attempt to use the eSMTP size command. If the sending agent supports this SMTP extension, then mdaemon will determine the message size prior to its actual delivery and will refuse the message immediately. If the sending agent does not support this SMTP extension, then mdaemon will have to begin accepting the message, track its size periodically during transfer, and refuse to deliver the message once the transaction has completed. If you do not want to impose a message size limit, then enter a zero in this field. When this box is checked, messages using authenticated sessions will be exempt from the above message size limit. Use the following option if you would like to limit the number of recipients or RCPT commands that can be sent per message. Per RFC standards, 100 is the recommended default number of RCPT commands. By checking Close Session If Reached, you can have mdaemon automatically close the SMTP session once the specified number of RCPT commands have been exceeded. The next setting allows you to specify the maximum allowed RSET commands. Some spam servers try to avoid being blocked by issuing an RSET command and restarting the message transmission. This can increase bandwidth usage and take up valuable server resources. By placing a limit on the number of RSET commands allowed, mdaemon can close the connection and free up server resources. The default setting is 20 RSET commands. As with the previous setting, you can also optionally close the connection once this threshold has been reached. Under the Server Settings section, check the box POP Server Deletes Mail on DELE command if you would like mdaemon to immediately delete messages that a user has retrieved even if the POP session does not complete properly. The option IMAP Server Supports Compress command can be used to help improve performance of Outlook Connector over WAN connections. The compression rate may vary, but it will typically be 50 to 80 percent. The option to allow plain text passwords governs whether or not mdaemon will accept passwords sent in plain text to the SMTP, IMAP, or POP3 servers. If disabled, the POP3 user, POP3 pass, IMAP login, IMAP auth login, and SMTP auth login commands will return an error unless the connection is using SSL. When Allow Connections to Server's Own IP Addresses is enabled, mdaemon can connect to itself. For example, if the MX record of your domain were to point to the mdaemon server's own IP address, mdaemon would continue to deliver the message to itself until it has reached the maximum hop count that is allowed. This setting can be useful in certain situations to prevent mail loops. 
The POP and IMAP servers will always accept connections from the IP address entered into the following field regardless of screening and shielding settings. This field will automatically populate with the loopback address of 127.0.0.1 unless you manually change it. This concludes this overview of the POP, IMAP, and SMTP server settings. In the next video, we'll talk about how to configure MDaemon to perform DNS server queries.